She became a world-renowned writer and lecturer and accomplished far more than many of her peers. But this amazing lady did it with no sight, hearing or speech. Helen Keller was a bright and precocious toddler approaching her second birthday when she was struck down with illness. She was thought to have contracted scarlet fever. The resulting high temperature left her blind and deaf. Helen Adams Keller was born in Alabama, America in 1880 and would eventually be able to recognize people by feeling their face and clothes and amazingly lip read by feeling the movement of someone's mouth. After her illness, Helen became an unruly and difficult child due to the fact that she could not see or hear the world around her. Her difficulty relating to her environment made life trying and frustrating. Her parents were unable to discipline the young Helen, so a specialist teacher was called for. The teacher, 20-year-old Anne Sullivan, was partially blind herself and immediately set about trying to teach Helen that every object has a name. Helen learned her first word within days, water. Keller later described the experience. I knew then that W-A-T-E-R meant the wonderful cool something that was flowing over my hand. That living word awakened my soul, gave it light, hope, joy, set it free. Anne Sullivan immediately saw Keller's intellect, and through her teaching, her student quickly knew more than 600 words, and had also started to learn to write, read Braille, learn the manual alphabet, and use a typewriter. At 14, Keller began studying at a school for the deaf in New York City. Two years later, with teacher Anne Sullivan at her side and spelling into her hand, she enrolled at the Cambridge School for Young Ladies in Massachusetts. In 1900, she joined Radcliffe, a prestigious women's college in Cambridge. Keller was a determined and brilliant student. And while still at Radcliffe, her first autobiography, The Story of My Life, was published. Keller became an accomplished writer, publishing books including The World I Live In and Out of the Dark. She began lecturing with the aid of an interpreter for the American Foundation for the Blind. Lecture tours took Keller around the world, and her work helped remove the stigma and ignorance surrounding sight and hearing disorders, which at the time often resulted in the committal of the blind and deaf to asylums. Helen Keller, for a time, was the most famous handicapped person in the world. She associated with intellectuals and leaders, including Alexander Graham Bell, Mark Twain, John D. Rockefeller, and Presidents Calvin Coolidge and Woodrow Wilson. As she traveled, Keller became outspoken in her opposition to war. She campaigned for women's suffrage, workers' rights, and socialism, as well as many other progressive causes. Keller's relationship with her governess, the person credited with unlocking her ability to communicate, would span an incredible 49 years. First, Anne Sullivan was her teacher, but became Helen Keller's lifelong companion. I am happy to be back in London. I'm happy to be back in London. I am so many endearing memories. Of which I have so many endearing memories. And I am a association. And with which I am affectionately associated. In my work for the blind. In my work for the blind. During her long life, Helen Keller's courage, intelligence, and dedication made her a true symbol of the triumph of the human spirit over adversity.